Hey Cruisers, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra Summer, and I've been to my share of scout and international truck events, but this one is my all-time favorite. It's the International Harvester Sierra Falls Rally in Grass Valley, California. Let me tell you, it was something. Not only did it have a great turnout with its show and shine aspect, but you also were able to hit the trail and go off-roading in your vehicle, which I've never seen at any scout event before. The event organizers, Jeff Ismail and IH Parks America did a great job putting on this event. Now my videographer and I, Bo, were picked up super early in nothing less than international, of course. And Jeff Ismail actually picked us up and drove us to the fairgrounds to kick off our coverage of the show. Once we got to the fairgrounds, we did our initial walkthrough, got a good lay of the land to see what kind of turnout they had. And there were a ton of great looking trucks. Now this event is one of my favorites because you get to meet all the, the scout enthusiasts from the West Coast that you might not see at different events um, in the Midwest or on the East Coast um, where we normally go. We did the breakfast song and dance, got that out of the way, and then proceeded to do our um, driver's meeting, going through our safety check, kind of going over the plan for the day, and then also what kind of coverage we were gonna shoot at this event. And then after that initial driver's meeting, we were well on our way to the trails. Rock and roll, baby, scout on. Here we go. So my job on this shoot was to get as much footage from as many different vehicles as possible and interview those drivers. And we found a few good ones. First up, James and Cody Bates in their 1973 Scout 2 with a 10 inch body lift. This father-son duo pushed this beast of a rig to the limit. Once I was riding in the passenger seat, there was some serious safety applications that were applied, but once we were rolling, um, we went through every single puddle possible. I thought it was a ton of fun. Uh, my videographer, on the other hand, he did not. There's only so much mud a camera lens can take. Next driver, James Dawson, decided to bring his truck to the trail. Now Dawson's 76 Scout Traveler has original paint and this truck was his first vehicle, meaning he's had this truck since high school, which is pretty cool. This truck rides lower than Bates Rig, but Dawson was still able to keep up with the group. After hitting the trails, we made a quick pit stop at Big Al's Diner and hamburgers and french fries for everybody. It was a great way to really kind of catch up on the camaraderie. After that, I was supplied an international pickup truck uh, by the Ismals and IH Parts America to get around town. Let's hit the road. This truck was so much fun to drive, had great handling, and we had a complete blast. Now day two, of course, I was able to hit the ground running with more interviews, cool trucks, and awesome scout owners. Now, one of the show's highlights for me was actually meeting Ron Anderson and getting to ride in Jimmy Jones' race rig, a 1976 Scout 2, and going for a ride in this piece of international history just made the trip worthwhile. It's, it's something that probably at some point in time probably ought to end up in the museum. This factory race scout has raced in every desert race you can think of, including score international events, and we'll have more on this vehicle in another video. We did some great interviews at the show and I did not feel that it would do it justice to fit all of these in one video. So there will be more content coming from this event. And then our good friend and everybody's favorite scout enthusiast, Joel Ayers decided to drive down and visit the show. It was overall a great weekend and we look forward to showing you more content from the show. Please subscribe and follow along and there'll be much more scout content coming up.